Hello and welcome to another edition of the Stench of Truth here on YouTube. Coming on a Friday, July 8th on InceptionRadioNetwork.com. You can join me for the Stench of Truth radio show. And my guest will be Jay Widener. And we will be talking about alchemy, um, Stanley Kubrick and his films, and uh, a lot of other very interesting things. Uh, Topics. So, um, if you have an interest in Jay Widener and uh, his work on examining the works of Stanley Kubrick and uh, on alchemy, uh, join us for two hours of discussion from 7 to 9 p.m. on InceptionRadioNetwork.com. <coughs> um, I'm going to illustrate to you and, and have you really take a look at something to understand uh, the proper way in which uh, any kind of change or real meaningful lasting change or uh, forcing uh, through ideas that uh, we the people choose to have uh, be enacted in our country here in the United States, um, how that can be achieved. Uh, one need only look at Greece to see what needs to be done. <clears throat> and it's not what you might think, and that is riding in the streets and clashing with the police, uh, because uh, the bulk, uh, the vast majority of the protesting that is being done in Greece is directed at the government. And the same scenario that is affecting Greece is the one that is affecting the United States and every other country around the world. And the reason why there is the so-called sovereign debt crisis that is happening in all of these countries is the fact that we had a major economic collapse. The major economic collapse that happened happened because of rampant fraud, theft, and underhanded dealings of banks and financial institutions and insurance companies that insured the fraudulent fucking shit pieces of paper that these banks came out with. I do not know how better to explain this the banks were the cause of the fucking economic collapse. The insurance companies were the cause of the fucking economic collapse for insuring the crap that came out of the banking fucking institutions. Okay? So, the debt that is being incurred by all of these fucking nations, and Greece included, is being incurred by the government of Greece to pay off banks for all of the money that they lost in the fraudulent fucking scams that they were fucking running. There is not a penny of the trillions of dollars that are floating around in all of this massive debt that can be laid on the backs of the middle class, the poor, seniors, or anybody fucking else. And I don't want to hear anybody say anything different because I'll call you a liar. Of course, you can say what you want. You have freedom of speech. That's just the way of my saying that I'm not going to believe a word you say to try to put this blame anywhere other than where it squarely belongs. Fuck that. So, what's the solution for the United States? Do you suppose that the people in the United States are going to rise up in massive protests and strikes like they have done in Greece and sustain it for a long period of time like they have done in Greece? Is that possible? It might be. But what has happened in Greece? They have successfully pushed through, I think it's three now, three successive austerity programs in order to get IMF bailout funds to pay off their bonds because of their massive debt. 
And they have successfully negotiated these and they've pushed them through Parliament even in the face of massive public protesting. And why is this, I ask you? It's because they are protesting against the government. They are directing their vile anger and their frustration against the government. And that will get you nowhere. As you can plainly see in this country, when angry constituents confront their representatives and are flatly rebuffed on even the simplest of fucking questions, when they are asked to justify continued subsidies to oil companies and all of these other things, they basically just blow off the people that they are supposed to represent. And this is why directing anything towards the government is completely fucking useless. So what is the solution? The solution is offered by Greece. Don't do what Greece is doing! If you can get the people to engage in active fucking protest, attack, shutting down, whatever. If you can get them to sustain that, to, to direct it, to use that energy, do not bother to go after the government. In fact, avoid the fucking government. They're the ones with the fucking guns. They're the ones with the tasers and the fucking nightsticks. They're the ones with the flashbang fucking grenades and the riot shields. So if you are going to protest anything, protest the motherfucking fraudulent fucking shithole banks that are the entire blame of this whole thing. And the insurance companies that fronted for them and insured the worthless fucking paper that they pawned off on everybody. And while you're at it, you can go after the fucking corporations and the oil companies and all the other groups, organizations, whatever, that have all of the benefits of, of this country and the community at large and pay absolutely nothing into it. So, Greece holds the answer to what can be done in this country, and that is... Avoid protesting the fucking government. Protest the motherfucking banks. Shut them all fucking down. And whenever they can't conduct business and money stops flowing, their profits start drying up and they can no longer pay off the politicians who are in their fucking pockets, then you will see some action. Until then, you're going to have the same thing that you have in Greece. Forced through austerity programs, even in the face of massive public protests. Why? Because they are directing it against the wrong institutions. Simple. Thank you. Good evening.